So hello guys, um, welcome again. So in this video you're gonna see how see an example of loops kind of a thing but using uh, jump instructions. So here the problem is we have is so we, we're gonna take an input line, we're gonna take a multiple input line. So far we have seen so we're taking just one input and in this video we're gonna see how we can just take multiple input and we're gonna count the number of inputs we're taking. So the here the basic idea is not to use loop is we don't know how many inputs we're going to take in. So we're going to take eight inputs, ten inputs or even twelve, fifteen fifty inputs, so we don't know. So so we're gonna use that jump instruction to to do, do, to solve this problem. So let's have a look. I'm gonna explain as I go through. So, so first of all we're gonna take an input and twenty one H. Now we should do something with a with that we can take multiple inputs keep taking input until the carriage is returned or the enter is not uh, given as input so let's say in the level one we give some spaces let's say the give, give level one or it is actually the compares the value of al the whatever you take input goes into l with zero d or h which is the code for new lines uh, catch return or you just use 13 only same so it doesn't matter so if they're using odh it means it's hexadecimal so if it's equal to jump if equal to to the uh, let's say another level call end so we're gonna do something in end just let be just declare the level okay so this is the condition. It it is carry section. It goes out of the out of the loop or the level. So otherwise, it's gonna take continue to take the input as many time as you want it to. So int twenty one h jump level one. So if it it will, it will keep taking input until the carry section is read. So so. Basically, we're going to just also count the number of characters we're taking as input. So, we're going to use some register to just to, to count the number of characters. So, let's say BL is zero. So, now here. So, now we're going to. We're gonna have to uh, use the increase BL to count number of characters we're taking as input here. We're gonna print a new line first. Then int 21H. I've shown you a previous video how to print new line. So why I'm uh, I am going to print a new line, I'm gonna tell you in a bit okay so this is a new line so now we're gonna print the number of characters we have taken as input so all right move h to two and so here we're basically doing we have to add 48 with the BL. So here we initialize BL with the ASCII code. So we have to add it, and then we have to show the result. BL 48, and then int 21 h So let's say what is wrong. Okay, let's run it. Let's right, say so we're gonna take five input A, F, D, F. G. Now we're gonna press enter. So it should show the result. It isn't. So what is the problem? Let's find out. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you haven't put the value of BL into DL. So I hope it's gonna work. Let's run it. Let's see. So that shows in the next line it is five. So I'm gonna show you again. Let's reload. Okay.
here. We're gonna say assembly. Assembly. We're gonna space. Alright. Which comes with double digits, so we're printing just one digit. So in case you want to I have shown how to print double digit in previous videos. So in multiple distribution. So we're gonna have a look at that. If it is the number of characters is inside ten, we can just directly print this like that. Okay, reload this. No. So it's a random number. So how many P's in there? Three, six, eight, nine. So we're gonna print nine. Okay, that's how you can uh, replace loops with the jump instruction to this this kind of specific problem. And thank you guys. See you in the next video.